let's talk about the settings found in assignments. On the classwork page, when you create an assignment, the first setting that you want to be clear on is making sure that you name it something that's very clear and simple for your students to follow. Maybe this is a tech project. Provide clear step-by-step -step instructions as to what students do here. Bullet points work very well. Or numbering steps. Add your assignment. And here's the first major setting that you want to be aware of. This only works in assignments. Notice the shark tooth. You have three options when you add a file from your drive. Students can simply view this file. They can all edit this file, meaning everyone that you give access to can all be in the same file. Or, my favorite, make a copy for each student. This acts as if you are standing at a copy machine and you are making a copy. The additional settings that are very key over here are on the right hand side. You can select which classroom or classrooms you'd like to assign this to. Notice if you select more than one class, the grade, the all students area gets grayed out. I only want to assign it to this particular class and that allows me to select any and all or just simply one or two students that I prefer. Point value is important. You may change it. It needs to be whole points. You can also give it ungraded. This says a lot to students. If you don't attach a point value to it, it means that it has no weight. Think carefully about what that means for your students. Use it as appropriate. The due date is the same. You may select a due date or not, but again, if it's never due, what does that say to your students? Use due dates to again, give this particular assignment some weight. Assign it to a topic so that you know what it's there for, as do the students. The final small area is often overlooked. Often teachers want to just go ahead and assign this, but think carefully about this. Maybe your students don't need it right now. Click on the shark tooth. You can save this as a draft and come back and in the matter of 30 seconds, assign it to your classroom simply by opening the assignment and clicking the assign button. My favorite is to use the scheduling option. Let's say that I know we're going to do this assignment on Wednesday, September 23rd, and I want to change this. Maybe I want it to drop at 8 a.m. Or maybe my class is in the afternoon. Right here it's tell telling me that I must give it a due date. My due date changed to tomorrow. So cancel out of this, change the due date. I'll give it Friday, which means my students have a couple of days to work on it. Now when I go into scheduling, I can change and schedule it for September 21st at 8 a.m. or adjust it as I need. Back on the classwork page, notice that it's gray down here and it's telling me that it's scheduled. That's awesome. Your students will only see the assignments that they need to have right now. Check out those settings and use them.